These shorts were made in the US, which means sizes run true to size, if not slightly bigger. We make art, we sell art. And our shirts range from small to 5XL. So big and tall, we got you covered. We use polyester fleece materials, which means they're very soft and breathable. Love the vibrant colors? Well, don't worry. They don't fade or shrink after washing. Tired of the same old boring images used over and over again? Or just a square image right in the middle of your shirt? Our shirts are custom designed and fully wrapped all the way around. We have sold thousands of orders all over the US to happy customers. So what are you waiting for? Order some of the most amazing, vibrant, and soft t-shirts in the industry today. We make art, we sell art. In your face! Hey, what's going on, guys? You already know what it is. We make art, we sell art in your face. And um, I want to talk about in this video how I was inspired. Uh, the other day, I went to the Avatar Symphony or Orchestra, however you want to call it. They do a lot of these new I guess you want to call it a symphony where they will play videos of certain movies or TV shows or animes or whatnot and they'll have a live orchestra and symphony playing that music alongside it while telling the story and I went there missing your face surprised me wanted to take me there this is my birthday month and I went out there I've been to one before, it was with Harry Potter, and that one was really amazing. It was a lot of fun. But this one was the Avatar. Now, when I went there, I said, okay, last Airbender, Avatar, this is going to be, you know, amazing, pretty cool. You know, I love seeing animes and things like that. I'm a big anime fan. But when we got there, we were sitting in our seats, and I just saw the amount of people coming to an event where they were supporting a particular fandom that they love. Now, I'm really used to this. I do a lot of anime shows all over the U.S. Um, I sell my artwork interna internationally. I do a lot of the big anime shows throughout the U.S. And um, I have people who really support my artwork. I have a lot of people who love what I do. I have a lot of people who... Um, love my artwork and things like that. So they'll come wearing the t-shirts. They, you know, may want to autograph sign with their posters, all those things. And, I, and I've witnessed that at a very small scale. Okay. Uh, the amount of people that know me is nowhere near in comparison to a Dragon Ball Z or One Piece, let alone Avatar. So although I've seen this before and I know how big fandoms can be, to see the adoring admiration, to see the fruition of the blood, sweat, and tears one will receive when they put in that hard work over time really blew me away. It blew me away because I'm just like, that's something that I want. That's something I want to feel one day. I want to be able to leave something of my own creation that people are meeting me because they identify with the characters that I've made over time and that they had a connection, that it made them feel a certain type of way, that they were happy um, reading or watching and enjoying that experience. You know, as an artist, I'm, man, listen, ever since I was a kid, you know, fourth, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. If you're an artist, you know what I'm talking about. We draw in our little notebooks. You know, sometimes we're not paying attention to class. We're drawing and making up characters and little stories and stuff of our friends and family or, you know, we're mimicking our favorite shows and fandoms. And it's it just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a passion. It's a hobby. But, you know, when you're a kid, sometimes you're not thinking, okay, this is something I could really do one day. I mean, when I was growing up, we didn't have nowhere near the technologies available to us. You know, your iPads and things of that nature, being able to draw digitally. I I never even knew how people drew digitally. It, it never even occurred to me. You know, but now I've been doing digital art professionally, you could say, for the past four years. Um, I've made a lot of money doing what I do. I've affected a lot of people in a positive way. Lots of people are always looking forward to the next design that I'm dropping. But me personally, although I've made a lot of money, I've made a lot of friends, I've made a lot of connections, I've inspired a lot of people, I've gotten all kind of fan mail and you know DMs and all kind of things, met all the voice actors I thought I could meet, I mean, rappers, celebrities, all this stuff, I am still not fully fulfilled. 
because I want to be known for that too. Meaning I want to be known and recognized for something that I created. I want to have a character that can stand next to the Ichigos, the Gokus, the Avatars, the Luffy's, the Gons, the Killua's. I want to make something that people are like, yo, this story is amazing. Now, with that being said, can I do it? Of course I can do it. Of course. Um, I'm working towards that right now. You know, I have a lot of different things going on that I've been slacking in. And I want to start making these videos so you can guys can see an introspective version of what it takes or what I'm going through on my journey to become this, this artist, to become this creator that I want to be. I'm working on a children's book that I I was supposed to have that done last year. Never. Well, I was working on somebody else's book too. So, but still, I still should have my first book done. I have an anime. I've been sitting on this idea since 2000 and like, Oh, man, it's got to be like 2013, 2000, I mean, yeah, 2013, 2014, something like that. I mean, it's been a long time, probably earlier than that, but it's been a long time. And at the time when I created it, once again, I didn't have any digital prowess. I didn't know anything about doing digital artwork. I drew pictures and things like that, but I kind of formulated an uh, etymology of a story, the before half of everything that happens in a story. But long story short, when I watched the Avatar, and I was at the symphony, at the orchestra, lo and behold, the creator was there. One of the co-creators, Brian. He was there. His mother was in a crowd. And I'm just, in my mind, in my heart, I'm like, wow. This guy, these two, but this guy, he's part of something, but him and this other guy have created something that not only benefited them, that not only gave the fans something, but also inspired and created jobs for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, if not thousands of people. Voice actors, lighting crew, video, choreography, fighters, drawers, artists, writers. I mean, you name it. Even Nickelodeon as a whole, hey, it helped boost Nickelodeon. They created all these things from two guys sitting down, had an idea, worked on a lot of other projects and said, hey, you know what? We want to work on something ourselves. We want to create something. And I'm like, that is so inspiring to me. You know, when I hear about the creator of One Piece, he was a big Dragon Ball fan to the point where his characters like Luffy got to do, got to do a crossover with Goku at one point in time. You know, it's, it's, it's very inspiring. And I've been drawing other people's characters and fandoms for so long. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, no matter how much money I make, no matter how many things I do, I still feel some type of emptiness inside. I still feel some type of unfulfillment. I still feel like, ah, oh, man, I'm not leaving anything behind worthwhile. Yes, the artwork is dope. Yes, people identify with my characters. And I think that's another thing that I was, I've was i been afraid of. Like, okay, when I start on this journey, are people going to support it? If I just stop doing all the fandom of t-shirts and stuff that I'm doing right now, and I just started creating my own stuff, is my artwork good enough? Is my story great enough? Is my characters phenomenal enough for people to even want to buy into it? And honestly, in my heart, sometimes I doubt myself and I think, no, I don't think, I mean, in my mind, on one end, my mind is like, man, this is an awesome idea, but I'm not the greatest writer. I'm not the greatest designer. I know how to draw. As long as I can remember as a kid, I just love to draw. But when you start thinking about what it really takes to create a story, a manga, a comic, there are, there are a lot of things involved. So once you get past the inspiration stage and the drive stage, it's like, okay, cool. We're about to really do this. There's a lot of things that come with it that I'm understanding now to be like, wow, okay, um, we got a lot of work to do, you know? And it's fun. It's challenging. 
Uh, and whether this thing blows up and be great or not, at least I can say I did it and I, I gave it my all, man. It's something that's my own little personal uh, baby, if you will, that I, I had this idea that i never seen done before. It's really hard for me to even talk about it. I show pictures of it here and there, but I, I'm just so protective of it. But I don't want to be like that. I know eventually I'm going to have to trust people, bring people in, so I make sure all the legalities and everything is straight. But yeah, man, I want to be able to create something and share it with the world, and hopefully it's well-received. You know, um, another big fear, and I'm just being honest, um, if you don't know, I am a black man, and I want my lead character to be a young black boy. Will there be other races and stuff like that in it? Yes, of course. But I'm just, you know, I'm in my mind, I'm asking myself, you know, the way I create this, the way that I do this, will he be received um, throughout the demographics, throughout the world? Will people receive him as a lead character and you know, our own quirks and jokes and things like that. It's fearful a little bit to me, you know? Um, I'm going to have to have tough skin when doing... See, when you talk about me, I got tough skin. But when you talk about my characters, man, and what I'm trying to create, this is something that's bigger than me. It's something that is a, a, it's a ideology, it's a lifestyle, it's a culture. It's all these things wrapped in something that I feel really dear about. And I just have to stop being um, lazy and procrastinating towards something that may benefit a lot of people in this world. It may benefit a lot of people out there, provide jobs, provide opportunities. You know, that's something I, I don't want to just be known as an artist who just made money for himself and, oh, he was so cool and he did all these great things. But I also want to be able to say, hey, or not even me say it, but other people, you know, when I'm gone... What did I leave on this planet? What did I do? Um, did I create opportunities for other people? Did I draw and make something that people were inspired by and other people would be able to eat off of and benefit from um, from their livelihood, whether it's fan art, whether it's uh, people that's worked on the project, the production side, advertising side, all those things like, I mean, the video games, the cards, the merchandise, the, the movies, the shows, the books, the fandom itself, the people wearing the costumes and dressing up as those characters, like, man, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? My birthday is coming up. I'm going to be 37 years old. And I'm like, in the time that I've been almost on this planet for 37 years, what have I done that's really meant something. And once again, I get it. I've made artwork that people have loved. When they wear these shirts that I make, people all around the world, I mean, people get stopped everywhere they go. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh man, this design. Yo, this is so cool. I get it. And I'm so appreciative. I'm so happy. But I want to do a little more. I want to create something that I deem meaningful, that means something to me. That's a representation of me. And I 100% believe I can do it if I really put my mind to it and work on that as well. Now, it's not going to be easy because I'm going to be working on three, three to four different things simultaneously, which is hard because when you start out with anime, you're not just rolling in the dough. I mean, you got a lot of work, story building, all the concept art, all the stuff you got to do, but you still got got to work. You still have to work. So I still have to make new designs. I still have to go and do shows, make new t-shirts to sell, canvases, hoodies, blankets like that. And then I have the children book, which will be able to make money even faster than the um, than the manga that I'm working on because children books selling digital eBooks and things like that. But this is definitely going to be a challenge. And then in the beginning of the year, I have these interviews that I'm going to be conducting with people in the cosplay community. So it's a lot going on. And I guess these videos are, this type of video is great therapy for me, but it's also just letting me know what I need to do in order to achieve this goal. Watching that Avatar Symphony and seeing that the creator was there and seeing all those people come together be too, because two guys came together and came up with a concept and pitched it to Nickelodeon 
is just beyond me. It's 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 such a beautiful story. It's such a great story alongside with Avatar that I'm just I'm very very fortunate to be in a position where I can go and attempt this. And I don't want to squander that opportunity. I don't want to waste that opportunity. So, hey man, I appreciate you guys, you know, lending me your ear. And uh yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put my best foot forward to make this happen. Uh, right now, I know what you see on the screen. This is uh, artwork that I already did, um, me working on this big old piece of all these heroes and stuff. But I'm looking at these heroes that I'm drawing on here, and it's just giving me an understanding, like, okay, the characteristics of my characters, the feelings, the emotions, their dreams, the things they want to accomplish, the world that they in, how all these things work. It is a lot of fun, but also a lot of work that I'm definitely going to have to go after. So I appreciate you guys and your time. Thank y'all so very much. And I'll be talking to you again soon, man. Um, if you guys want to hit me with a comment, like, share, subscribe would be great. Everybody that does the uh, the the super chat and all that, thank you so very much. You can also can get my artwork on inyourfaceart.com. I greatly appreciate y'all, man. And I'll be talking to y'all again very soon. You already know what it is. We make art, we sell art. In your face! <laughs> Peace.